Politician takes action, family gets money, and politician takes steps to hide it. A tale as old as time. And that's the tale we face today with President Joe Biden. Oh, son of a Over the last several months, the Judiciary, Oversight, and the Ways and Means Committee have uncovered evidence of Biden family influence peddling the scheme. The evidence includes 15 million in payments to the Biden family, 240,000 in payments directly to Joe Biden, and a threatening WhatsApp message sent by Hunter Biden to a Chinese executive. You have this evidence on top of four key facts that have not changed. One, Hunter Biden was on the board of Burisma. Two, Hunter was not qualified to be on the board of Burisma. Three, the executives at Burisma asked Hunter to help them with the pressure they're under. Four, Joe Biden Biden goes to Ukraine, gives a speech attacking the prosecutor, which starts the process of getting him fired. These facts haven't changed, and evidence across the investigation continues to grow. Where there's smoke, there's fire. That's why the Judiciary Committee, along with the other two committees, began this impeachment inquiry into President Joe Biden. Now, you might be asking yourself, what's an impeachment inquiry? An impeachment inquiry is a phase of congressional investigation in an inquiry, we examine the available evidence, request documents, conduct interviews, and determine the grounds for articles of impeachment. In practice, the inquiry bolsters our ability to compel testimony and the documents necessary to conduct our investigation. The goal of our impeachment inquiry is to get answers to four key questions. Question number one, did Joe Biden take action or change policy because of benefits received by him or his family from foreign interests. Our investigation thus far has uncovered payments that went to members of the Biden family. It happened during Joe Biden's Vice presidency, originated from countries where then Vice President Biden paid an official role and were layering through complicated payment schemes. The Oversight Committee has identified over 20 different companies used in some cases that appear to have been created for the sole purpose of serving as pass-through entities. We will continue to investigate whether this money paid to the Biden family had an impact on Biden's conduct as president or vice president of the United States, as well as the bribery allegation in the FBI FD-1023 form. The circumstances around the $200,000 so-called loan repayment and the $40,000 check from laundered Chinese money. Question number two. Did Joe Biden abuse his office by providing foreign interests with access to him and his office in exchange for payments to him or his family? In 2014, Joe Biden dined with a Russian oligarch who, around the time of the dinner, wired $3.5 million to one of Hunter Biden's businesses. It's important to note that this oligarch was absent on Biden's sanction list. Yeah, severe economic sanctions on Putin and all those folks around him. Additionally, a Biden family associate testified that he was personally aware of at least 20 times President Biden spoke on speakerphone with Hunter Biden's foreign business associates. We will investigate whether these foreign interests were given access to Joe Biden because of payments made to his family or to him. Question three, did Joe Biden participate in a scheme to enrich himself or his family by giving foreign interests the impression that they would receive access to him in exchange for payments to him or his family, despite Joe's insistence. I've never spoken to my son about Joe's The exact opposite is unfortunately true. Evidence shows then Vice President Biden spoke and dined with Hunter Biden's foreign business associates. Hunter even alleged his father was in the room when he demanded payment from a Chinese business associate. We will examine if and to what degree Joe Biden engaged in this scheme. The last question and final point of judiciary's part in the impeachment inquiry. Did Joe Biden impede, obstruct, or hinder the investigation into Hunter Biden? 
Here's what we know. The Biden DOJ slow walked the investigation into Hunter Biden. The DOJ let the statute of limitations lapse for tax years 2014 and 2015, the years with income from Burisma. Hunter's legal team was tipped off about an impending search on his storage unit. The DOJ didn't allow investigators to take steps that would lead to Joe. The DOJ then puts together a sweetheart deal so they can sweep the whole thing under the rug. But thanks to two courageous whistleblowers and a judge in Delaware, the deal falls apart. The deal began to unravel when the judge asked if it gave Hunter Biden broad immunity for other possible crimes, including in his foreign business dealings in Ukraine and China. All signs point to interference from the highest levels of the Biden administration, where Biden appointees and Attorney General Garland orchestrating the plea deal and the investigation to protect Joe. The inquiry phase of our investigation enables us to examine the necessary information to not only answer these questions, but helps us determine the grounds for articles of impeachment.